Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about binary adder circuit. A digital adder is a circuit that adds two binary numbers together. It is a fundamental building block of digital circuits, and it is used in many different applications, such as calculators, computers, and digital signal processors. Adder is known as an arithmetic circuit in digital electronics. An arithmetic circuit is a set of gates with a separate set of inputs for each number that has to be processed. The gates are connected to get carry out an arithmetic action and the outputs of the gate circuit are the digits of the result, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Because these circuits are created by combining multiple logic gates, they are also known as combinational logic circuits. Combinational circuits determine their output based on the current combination of inputs, regardless of what inputs were previously used. There are two types of adder circuits. Half adder and full adder. Let's explain half adder with the help of its circuit diagram and truth table. A half adder is a digital circuit that adds two binary digits together. It has two inputs, called A and B, and two outputs, called SUM and CARRY. Let's make a truth table for two inputs, and add them together and see the results. 0 plus 0, the SUM and CARRY both will be 0. 0 plus 1, or 1 plus 0, in both cases SUM will be 1, and there will be no CARRY out. 1 plus 1, the result will be 0, 1, which means the SUM is 0, and CARRY will be 1. By observing this table, we got to know that the sum output is the same as the XOR function and the carry output is equal to an gate. So, half adder is designed by combining the XOR gate and an gate. Inputs of both gates are connected. XOR gate produces the sum of inputs, and an gate produces carry out. The Boolean expression of the half adder circuit is sum equals a XOR function b carry equals a dot b. Let's explain half adder with the help of truth table. As you can see there are two inputs a and b, and two outputs sum and carry out. Let's apply the inputs and check the output of the half adder. Apply 0 and 0, sum and carry out both will be 0. Apply 0 and 1, the sum will be 1 and the carry out will be 0. Apply 1 and 0, the sum will be 1 and the carry out will be 0. Apply 1 and 1, the sum will be 0 and the carry out will be 1. Because half adder can only add two binary digits, it cannot be utilized as a part of an adder circuit that can add three or more binary numbers. It can add single bit binary only. But it cannot add more than one bit binary data. Because in multi-bit data we have to add carry out of the previous bit to the next bit as carry in. It means for proper adder function we need a circuit that can perform the adder operation of three input digits. To address this issue, the full adder was created. Full adder. A full adder is a digital circuit that adds three binary digits together. It has three inputs, called A, B, and C in, and two outputs, called SUM and C out or CARRY out. Here C in is the third input which represents the CARRY. From the previous lower significant position, the CARRY bit is fetched. The SUM output is the result of adding the three input bits. The CARRY out output is a 1 if the SUM of the three input bits is greater than 1. A full adder can be constructed using two half adders and an OR gate. The two half adders add the two input bits, and the OR gate combines the carry outputs from the two half adders. Boolean expression of a full adder will be sum equals a XOR function B, XOR function C in. Carry out equals a dot B plus a XOR function B dot C in. Let's explain full adder with the help of truth table. As you can see there are three inputs A, B, and carry in, and two outputs SUM and carry out. Let's apply the inputs and check the output of the full adder. When all inputs are zero, SUM and carry out both will be zero. When any of the inputs is one, the SUM will be one and the carry out will be zero. When two of the inputs are one, the SUM will be zero and the carry out will be one. 
When all inputs are 1, the sum and carryout both will be 1. As of now, we have discussed the construction of single bit adder circuits using logic gates. However, what if we want to add two numbers with more than one bit? Here is the advantage of full adder circuit. By cascading single bit full adder circuits, we can add two multiple bit binary numbers. This type of cascaded full adder circuit is called a ripple carry adder circuit. In the case of the ripple carry adder circuit, the carry out of each full adder is the carry in of the next most significant adder circuit. As the carry bit is ripple into the next stage, it is called as ripple carry adder circuit. In the block diagram shown on screen, we are adding two 3-bit binary numbers. We can see three full adder circuits are cascaded together. These three full adder circuits produce the final sum result, which is produced by these three sum outputs from three separate full adder circuits. The carryout is directly connected to the next significant adder circuit. After the final adder circuit, carryout provide the final carryout bit. I hope you have learned all about digital adders, the components of a digital adder, its operation, and its applications. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. As a challenge, I encourage you to build an adder circuit by using logic gate ICs and try to apply different inputs and observe outputs. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.